All right, what's going on, FitFam? Nicholas Nat coming at you with another video about manifesting your results. So I'm known really for three core components. Mindset, which I take a lot of pride behind. Uh, being in fitness and obviously nutrition, right? What you put in your body, what is the assembly, how do you challenge the body, and then ultimately what's the right way to think and navigate the world around you so that you can get the kind of results. And all of those things have enormous amount of value. One thing that I think is probably the most underutilized of any of these has to do with rest. Now, when I'm talking about rest, I'm not talking about just one variable like sleep, although that is right like an avenue. It's a commodity of the bigger conversation. But the reason I talk about rest as a whole is because I feel like its value is unmatched. But the sexy information has to do with right, the right sets. You know, is it about getting muscles? Is it about getting toned? What's the right and the best workouts that you could do? The right clothing and all that stuff. Or, you know, what's the best foods, right? Should you be a vegan? Should you focus on carnivore? Should you focus on keeping the same type of a diet? Or should you have an illustrious diet? All those might be great topics, they might be great questions, but the reality is, is that when we think about ultimately seeing change in our body, that comes via one certain thing called a hormetic response or hormesis, right? In short story, what hormesis really is, is it is your body actually adapting from the inside out. So we have two different layers that we think about this. Let's just think of it like this. Below the surface is what we call the genome, and then above the surface is the epigenome, right? Both of them, are basically a, a representation of what's happening in your body. Now, we don't see the genome, but we can see the effects of that through our exterior. And so let's say that I'm a person who wants to focus on recomposition, which just basically means changing my body structure. Maybe I wanna lose some weight. Maybe I wanna tighten up after the holidays, I let myself go, or maybe summer's coming, I'm going on a vacation, or maybe I just wanna focus on being a healthier version and tightening up or expanding my tissue. Okay. So if that is the case and that's the position that you're in, it's gonna require you to definitely work efficiently and do the right things inside the gym. Lifting the weights, going to the gym, doing the cardio, burning calories, and then also putting the nutrients in, again, the core, essentially the core nutrients. But mind you, none of those things are actually affecting what's happening in your body. It isn't until we actually lay down to go to sleep, we move through our alpha wave, and then we move into our theta, and then eventually into our NREM, and then our delta wave sleeps, where we start to see change happening in the body. That's when we're starting to see your body move from its awakened state, which we call fight or flight, and that's you know in the autonomic nervous system, into a rest and digest, which we call the sympathetic response. When we're in our rest and digest, literally our body is resting, our heart rate goes down, and we're in a position where now we can relax. Doing that is actually giving your central nervous system, and for those of you who may not know what your central nervous system is, your ability to hold information and your ability to think, your ability to see, your ability to move and navigate the world around you is your attention span that's happening via your brain stem from your brain and into your body. And we all know what this is like when you probably have moved throughout your day and you've been you know, in one place or another, and here, or you've had to travel, or you've driven, and you just feel exhausted, right? You feel exhausted, you feel consumed. That is your central nervous system saying that it needs a timeout. Now, in addition to that, when you're sleeping and you're not moving around, that is rebuilding itself. Now, the tissue, you went and you went to the gym and you were running and you were climbing and you were you know, jump roping and doing all these different things, and that's great, but that is the actual process of breaking down tissue. That's called going catabolic. You break the tissue so that it can rebuild itself, and that's great, you did a great job of breaking it but now you actually need to sleep and let your body actually regrow the tissue that you damaged so that it can come back more resourceful and better, right? 1.0 to 2.0, 2.0 to 3.0. That doesn't happen without sleep. It doesn't happen without rest. The last thing that I actually refer to as a form of hormesis, there's many different ways to trigger hormesis. You can do that through exercise, induce, you can do that through super cold exposure, right? Like super cold exposure, you get stuff and we could go and make a whole different video on this, might be coming in the future, but um, you're gonna trigger something called cold shock proteins, right? 
cold shock proteins eventually influence your body beneath the surface and in return you're getting a much way better adaptable response and your body is going to be more resilient same thing that happens with extreme heat we call those heat shock proteins that's all good but if you're not actually getting rest then you're not able to actually use the nutrients that you've eaten that day right so maybe you did go and you got adequate protein you got excellent sources of vegetables and now you've got the micronutrients and the phytonutrients that can you know, not only build your immune system, but all the different systems. That's gonna be great, but your body needs to be able to do the work to repair itself so that you can come back more capable and actually enjoy the results. And if you're not doing that because you're staying up late to binge watch seven episodes on Netflix, or you're on your phone watching YouTube and on Instagram checking posts and who's commenting on your stuff right before bed, you're getting blue light waves, which is actually impacting your sleep. Maybe you're up because you have a presentation or your work is super stressful and you don't prioritize sleep or you're eating food that's inhibiting sleep. There's a myriad of different stuff that we especially do here in the Western world that eventually, eventually causes issues with sleep and you're not maximizing your benefit. And so to receive the full benefits and to maximize your potential, for your growth in your body. You need to prioritize rest, you need to prioritize sleep, and making sure, which I'll also talk about one other thing, that you're allocating time where you're not working out, aka your rest day is gonna be super important. There's this bodybuilder by the name of Ben Pakowski, and he's no longer bodybuilding right now, but he's an excellent resource. I'll never forget that I can't take credit for, but something that I definitely subscribe to. You can have your different days that are parasympathetic and sympathetic. Sympathetic days might be the days you go for a walk or you go on a hike or you go to the gym or you go to the climbing gym and you're active and you're breaking tissue and you're doing so much and you're getting rest. Although you're getting your sleep, right? There's also gonna be the days where they're sympathetic. You go and you get a massage or you're going and you're doing other things that can stimulate blood flow to the body. You're going in, you're, you're, you're actively stretching, you're going to a yoga class. That stuff doesn't require as much tension to the body and therein or as a result of that, you're actually feeling a lot more recouped because your body, from a scientific standpoint, is able to utilize all of the extra nutrients and the extra rest to build on top of itself and making you therefore more resilient when you do come back to these sympathetic days. And so rest is not just about sleep. Sometimes it's allocating and reallocating the time and how much energy you're gonna to devote to being active or extremely active. And so, Doing that is probably in the long term gonna help you stay more consistent. And if you're more consistent and you can work hard at 1.0, then you can work hard enough to see results that's gonna take you 2.0. And that just keeps growing and growing and growing. And before you know it, here you are back at square one, having come full circle because you're seeing the kind of results you wanna see in your body. Being consistent and working hard is great. Being consistent and eating the right food is great. Having the right framework and the right way of thinking is also great. But if you're not combining all of those things with the adequate rest, you're not cashing in full potential and that's limiting the result and it's probably at some point going to cost you exactly all of these other things or these other things are gonna come at an expense of it. So that is my final take on why you should be getting a lot of rest when you're focusing on challenging yourself and getting more out of your workouts. This is Nicholas now with Nat Fitness and if this has been a word for you, I invite you to do two things. First and foremost, definitely go like the video, subscribe to the channel because I'm always producing more content and the more content and the more people that subscribe to the channel, the more great information that I can present that can be of value for people like yourself. Second, lastly, if this has also been a word and there's other things that you wanna see, just how deep the well actually goes in the context of conversations, then I invite you guys to join me by downloading my ebook, Abs Energy and Confidence, The Four Keys to Achieving the Holy Trifecta. That will give you access to the Facebook group. That will give you access to my back office community, my newsletter, and many other people who are just out there like you, looking for solutions to a lot of the questions that you have and finding the answers that are gonna help you go from 1.0 to 2, 2 to 3, and that's exactly what I'm here for. So I appreciate you taking the time. Enjoy yourselves. Until next time, my friends, Nicholas Nat with Nat Fitness, signing off.